our official opening. We welcome Franziska Giffey, the German Federal Minister for Family Affairs, Senior Citizens, Women and Youth. We can see Franziska Giffey. We hope we can hear Franziska Giffey as well. Hello. Hello, greetings from Berlin. <laughs> So we're looking forward to your welcome speech. So thank you very much. Um, ich habe gehört. I was asked to deliver my remarks in English, uh, sorry, in German, and uh, of course interpretation will be provided into English. So that's what I'm going to do. Director General, Madam Commissioner, ladies and gentlemen, everyone who is online, thank you for joining us here in Bonn, in Berlin, you're in your offices, your living rooms, wherever you are, you're following this conference. And of course, we should have come together in Bonn together. We should have been in the former Bundestag uh, plenary hall, Germany's lower house of parliament up until 1999. Of course, the parliament was in Bonn. However, things are different. And this week, we are experiencing a first, and that is the very first Digital European Youth Work Convention. This is very special to me. Of course, Germany is um, the, has the EU Council presidency at the moment, and also the chairmanship of the Committee of Ministers of the Council of Europe. And youth is really high up on the agenda of both of these chairmanships and the final declaration of the second European Youth Work Convention in 2015 already called for a European Youth Work Agenda. There were lots of discussions about that in the Council of Europe afterwards. And then in the 2017 recommendations of the Committee of Ministers to Member States on Youth Work, it was actually referred to explicitly. On the EU side, the agenda was declared a political objective for the first time in its EU youth strategy 2019 to 2027. So, from a youth policy point of view, the last few years have been very important indeed. Now, of course, Germany occupies this double chairmanship, and uh, we want to be very clear here that we accept the challenge of developing the European Youth Work Agenda. There has been a council resolution to this effect on the framework for establishing a European Youth Work Agenda. That was adopted on the 1st of December 2020, following a number of months of discussions under the German EU Council presidency. What is the aim of this council resolution? Well, we want to allow the EU to contribute towards achieving our common goals through the European Youth Work Agenda. And in the EU, we have agreed on a number of measures, three of which I would like to point out just now. First of all, we have agreed that we will be setting up a network for the development of youth work in Europe. This will bring together existing and new stakeholders in youth work, and it will ensure that the subject of youth work in Europe remains firmly and high up on the youth policy agenda. This is a very broad-based subject. And uh, I think it's very important to use this as an opportunity uh, to build a network of this kind. That's the first measure I would like to pick out. The second one is this. We would like to have a European Youth Work Convention every five years. It will be a platform for evolving this youth work agenda. It will be a place for us to have a regular exchange on current developments, trends, and challenges in youth work, and we want to learn from each other within that context. And the third activity I would like to pick out is that we want to set up an open multilingual digital platform for youth work together with the European Commission. So it will be a place where practitioners can exchange information, knowledge, good practices, and also talk about different forms of collaboration and peer learning, meaning that uh, People should be learning from each other. Countries should be learning from each other. And the outcomes of that will be made available to all users. And that will help to improve youth work in general. However, all of these activities will not be developed somewhere centrally. It will be a collaborative effort. 
everyone is asked to contribute. And the council resolution has not just allowed us to create a common ground, a common understanding of youth work in the EU and uh, in the member states of the Council of Europe. We have also introduced a term known as the youth work community of practice. That might sound a little bit dry, a little bit theoretical, but actually it's a big step forward because it helps to include many different stakeholders in the field of youth work. And I think it will help us to allow everyone, all young people, access to youth work going forward. And I don't really think I have to say this, but I'll say it anyway. The youth work community can practice. That's all of you. The representatives of the youth councils, the national and international youth organizations, the representatives of the national agencies, authorities, ministries, bodies at the local, regional, and national level, European and international organizations, the research community, and of course, the youth workers who work on a daily basis with young people on the ground. And let me say a few more things about the implementation of the agenda, the Bonn process as it's known. In 2010, of course, the first European Youth Work Convention was held under the motto Celebrating Diversity. And that convention highlighted the diverse nature of youth work in Europe. Five years later, at the second European Youth Work Convention in 2015, the title was Finding a Common Ground. The idea was to create a common understanding of what youth work is. Now, 2020, we're coming together for the third European Youth Work Convention, and we would like to say that it is now time to act. We want to translate all of the political decisions over the last few years into real action. We want to kick off an implementation process in the field of youth work. That process will be henceforth known as the Bonn process, even though, of course, we cannot be together in Bonn today. The colleagues uh, on the ground have done a huge amount of work to prepare this conference, and uh, I'm sure it will be successful. It will connect people working in Bonn, in Berlin, across Germany and Europe. The Bonn process will be a connective element for youth work across Europe. There are so many great ideas, new projects that are being developed at the local, national, or European level, on a theoretical level, on a practical level. All of these things will bring the Bonn process and the agenda to life. In fact, this is basically the culmination of a process that has been going on for decades. The European Youth Foundation was set up as part of the Council of Europe in 1972. It was an instrument in order to promote and support projects for young people with young people across Europe. And the German federal government wants to earmark further funds so that the two youth centers of the Council of Europe in Budapest and Strasbourg can get extra support. Maybe I should say one more thing. Of course, there are two major European youth programs in Europe, uh, Erasmus Plus and the European Solidarity Corps. Both of them are extremely important instruments for youth work. And uh, as we negotiate the new future financial framework, we will work to ensure that more money will be made available for youth work. In fact, I'm delighted to report that we have been able to more than double the funding available to youth work under the new European financial framework. So Erasmus Plus and European Social, sorry, the Solidarity Corps have now been put on an even stronger footing and are well prepared for the years to come. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now up to you. Turn this convention into a real success and kick off the bond process with lots of enthusiasm and even more good ideas. You now have four days time to share your projects, your project ideas, research outcomes, programs and initiatives, to share these with your colleagues, to have a, an exchange on your successes on your 
failures, and you're working together with your colleagues from all 50 countries of the European Cultural Convention. So seize that opportunity, ladies and gentlemen. This is a great opportunity also to create a stronger European network and basically always to return to the thought of who are we doing this for? Of course, young people who are our future. So let us work together to ensure that young people in Europe are supported, especially during this very difficult time. Thank you so much. Now we look forward to the other statements. I have heard that the commissioner cannot be with us today, unfortunately, but we will be hearing from her. For now, I would like to call upon the Director General Snezhana Samacic Markovic because I believe she is live. So let's hear from her. Thank you so much, everyone.